Welcome back to episode 6 of my Let's Play. Now this Let's Play I am going to be doing a couple of different things. Um, I've decided my plan for this episode will be to, um, first I'm going mining right now and um, as I'm going mining I'm also doing some other stuff. I'm clearing out some area. Basically right now I'm making the witch farm a bit more, uh, more efficient and uh, later on there's a bit of a problem with the witch farm that I'm going to fix but that's a little bit okay. Um, another thing I'm going to be working on is I want to make my portal room a little bit bigger, a little bit better. And yeah, so those are my two plans for this episode and I got a little bit more planned for just in case I don't have enough time because there is a, because there is like the terracotta block which is supposed to be coming out on Wednesday but it didn't, uh, but it didn't um, update the server immediately so hopefully we could get the update soon because I'm really excited for that. Um, some things I want to talk about a little bit while we're doing this little uh, little time lapse thing that's going on is uh, I'm still trying to figure out what a lot of stuff is uh, comfortable at. Like my first couple of time lapses were really really quick, and it, honestly, it gave me a bit of a headache at watching it through myself. Um, I think that might just be because it's a first person at 60 frames a second when it's recorded at 10 frames a second. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try out something new for this part. I'm going to be having it run at 30 frames a second. So uh, I don't know if that will be better or worse or anything. I did see some other people on other videos. Uh, what they do is they just have uh, stuff recording. While they're recording they um, have music in the background. Now I was thinking about doing that and I could get a friend to uh, help me out with um, doing everything I need to do because in those videos and uh, stuff there's like this always these uh, music which is a little bit obscure maybe not too heard of and um, something that would be awesome but I do got a friend who produces music and he's absolutely wonderful he's makes some really really wonderful music um, but I think I would try to save that for if I get more more subscribers or more popular because I do want to uh, promote him in some way for pay for helping me out with that um, and I haven't mentioned this to him at all so mum's a word uh yeah that's really what I'm that's really what I'm working on and that I really do want to make the best video possible. I hope this uh introductions a little bit I know this introduction is a little bit long, but I hope you do enjoy the time lapse that's going on. Um if you look right about now, I'm sure I'm not I don't I'm not watching it, but I'm sure that uh I'm mining right now and you could see that I'm lighting up caves. Basically, I'm just making the witch farm more efficient and Hopefully everything comes out working well. Um, I did some I did some other preliminary tests and doing some other stuff to make sure everything works. And at the end of the time lapse, it's going to get cut. I already I already deleted the file. I do cover up the witch farm and make it more efficient that way in itself too. Um, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching this introduction and let's get into the video. So I'm just getting rid of the messed up portal. Basically, whenever I go through the portal, it brings me through this one for some reason. And I'm gonna just go sync it up with the new portal so I could get uh so I could never have to worry about this again. Hopefully I never have to worry about this again. Um if everything goes well then I'll just well have to fix that. But yeah, I hope you I hope you guys really enjoyed that time lapse and I guess I'll be back to you in a second when I uh fix the portal. Uh something I wanna show off real quick and I'll show off uh like right now. Basically I just uh finished this uh finished this farm and did everything I needed to. Uh, during the time lapse, I'm sure you guys saw it. Um, I was just making sure everything was lit and everything. Uh, oh, there we go. Everything uh, went perfectly, and if everything went well, then I won't have to do it. Worry about all that stuff. But I don't think so because I did an AFK session and it didn't really work. So I'll figure I'll figure stuff out. But I also what I really wanted to show off was uh, down here. Now, if you go down there, my plan eventually is to make a underwater city, and I'm already uh, smelting up a lot of the glass you can see here. I'm smelting up a lot of the glass just so I can get all the stuff ready but I want to wait until the update drops so I could get uh, all those beautiful concrete colors and everything. But yeah every, if everything works well then I'm going to start working on it this episode but if the update doesn't come out or it's delayed or something uh, happens then I'm just going to work on it next episode. But yeah it, it hopefully comes out uh, today, tomorrow Wednesday and if it doesn't then I guess I'll start working on this uh, next episode but what I plan on doing is leveling out this whole area and this is after I get aqua affinity by the way um, leveling out this whole area and doing everything I need to and then once I once I finish off everything then I'm just gonna 
I have an idea for like a little elevator right there. If you look up there where the furnaces are, those are temporary and eventually I'm going to ha- I'm thinking about setting up an elevator right there. Now there's an elevator system which Ale Mango designed which actually looks like an elevator and it's like one of the coolest things I've seen. Um so yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm going to be doing and if everything works out well then uh that's what I will be doing this episode. But if not, I'll figure out something to do this episode. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that and I guess I'll see you in a second when I fix this portal and I think I'm going to open up this room a little bit also. Okay. Um so what I'm doing now is I'm just finishing up the design of making now this is a very very um a very very uh basic design so far but uh i'm not i'm not actually doing a lot of it right now uh right now i'm just finishing up the very first part of it now what i want to do here is just to make sure i can get through so if i do want to work back there um now you'll see that I opened up the room and i made it a lot bigger okay that looks pretty good actually let's see that's centered yeah that's centered okay so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure this is a really really big room right now and it's going to be a really square room right now that's that's the biggest problem I have with it so far is that it's really square really big and um yeah so everything everything is looking pretty good we got the bread lom, the better knife, the lego lost 2 we got the le boton pain, we got the diamond leggings we got the chickens can fly and we also got the chef's hat um and yeah now I'm heading to the nether and I'm going to go kill some gas. Hopefully I could get a couple of uh, gas tears. And now that we got all the gas tears we need, um, I was going to show you that how much gunpowder and how much gas tears I got, but because of that, because of the weird thing that went on, I just decided. Uh, I just decided it doesn't truly it doesn't truly matter and I set down some already uh already to get crafted up in that chest. All the stuff I need to get crafted up in that chest. Uh yeah. So we're going to go into the end and get some uh extra obsidian for the portal down there. Obsidian and then we're gonna kill the ender dragon again so we could get so we could get a whole bunch of uh materials. Um now the materials we need is obsidian, but all all I wanna do is just get the do that so I could get um a whole bunch of stuff. Now over here uh, you'll see that I fixed it and um, I'll show you how I fixed it later on in the video but I don't actually uh, show you the fix. If you look back here it's quite complicated um, uh, just because I didn't really, uh, I just wanted to make sure it worked. So basically it's just a counter system back here. But yeah, uh, we'll head into the end right now and uh, go get some uh, obsidian. Uh, I just didn't want to cause any vandalism so I'm just doing this so they regenerate after. Um, this, is just a temp this is just a way for me to get it get all this stuff without going into the nether or something and getting a whole bunch of lava and wasting all that time. But yeah, this is just uh, what I'm doing right now. And all we gotta do is go like this to respawn the dragon and we'll see right over here that this obsidian actually regenerates. Now you'll see that happen here in a sec. Should go to this one, there it is. Boom. All the extra obsidian regenerated. Now I didn't need that much, so I didn't get that much, so that's all I really need right now, but I'm, I'm about to kill the ender dragon and he should... I don't know if he, anyone's ever actually seen this process, and I know a lot of people have, but um, uh, you'll see right here, it'll just activate the rest. Now that's actually really loud, um, let's turn that down to like 40, no actually, that's not good, oh jeez. Yeah, um, I just remembered, I'm gonna need dragon's breath, uh, maybe not actually. And now that we got that done, um, we're just gonna... Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, I'm taking damage. I don't know from what though. They got that guy. Oh jeez. Fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away. Eat some food, fly away. Okay. Everything's looking good. He breathed some breath, but that's okay. I can't. Oh jeez. Let's just uh... Wow, okay. Um, he's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> okay, no, this isn't hard. Oh! Maybe it is hard. We'll find out. Come on, come on! Right there. 
Oh man. That was a lot, a lot less. Oh man, okay, that was a pretty nice kill. Got him from the air. Ate about 10, 11 of these stuff. Let's hold out, uh, this, no, this one. Level 31. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I guess we're going to go back and start working on the Ender Portal again. Now the Okay, I'm liking the way this uh, came out. Now, if we look around a little bit, it's really dark in here. And I absolutely love the way it's looking right now. Um, oh, look at that. I'm liking the way it's looking right now, but it's, it's going to be a little bit weird to, uh, to get to adjust to. Now, I, I won't be able to change it uh, without affecting the color and the texture of everything. So for now, I'm just going to put up uh, torches. See if I can. I want to hide the lighting in some way. I know there's a couple of different ways, uh, but there's nothing transparent that's truly black. So what I'm thinking I'll do is uh, fix this first. What I'm thinking I'll do is I'll set up some stuff so it'll look uh, so light will kind of just shine in from above. But that's kind of tacky and kind of overdone. I also I also have an idea for having the glowstone be right here, but the portal actually does provide light. If you look, it's light 10, light 8. So it's right here that needs the light the most. Um, right here as it go goes onward. Now if we look if we look around, you might enjoy it, you might not, but I absolutely love the way this uh, kind of dark, darkish room, darkish, hellish area came out. Now the I could go with the uh, lava as a light source. And it's been done before a billion trillion times, and it, it I gotta be honest, it's a bit hackneyed at this point, so I wanna try to avoid that. I'm thinking uh, glowstone as well. Now if we go in here into the nether and go grab some glowstone, I'm sure we could come up with uh, some good concepts to go with. So I just remembered that we have, uh, we actually have blocks which uh, glow that are nether based and just, yeah, just basically I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, if you if you look, you could see that we have nether blocks, uh, not nether blocks, uh, magma blocks, and I kind of like the way this is looking. I we need to open up this a little bit, go like this. Um, I'm thinking like this, and I want to take out this block, but I don't think I can. Oh, I might be able to actually. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Okay. So if we look in here, we got. Oh, I like. I'm liking this. It's looking really good. We got the nice little uh, stuff up there. Now up here, it, does, it doesn't integrate as well as it I had hoped actually. So I'm gonna change that up real quick. Um, I do still have some obsidian, so that's good. Um, right up here, if I get it. Oh, that might be just staying because I'm standing on magma. Now that is the one thing that I uh, that I'm regret already regretting about this. But I think I'm gonna like the like like the way this uh, ends up looking. So right there. Uh, I need one more block. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like the way this looks. So we got a nice little uh, opening in here. Ooh, that looks pretty good actually. Um, now I know it's gonna be a little bit annoying to get in and out at times, but once I get the terra the terracotta back there, it's gonna look really good. Hopefully, I think the black and red one. I'm not sure if that's red or black. Oh, will look good. There's also purple, but purple uh, purple's too bright uh, of a terracotta block. And uh, yeah. I guess it would be glazed terracotta now that they changed some of this stuff up. I'm liking the way this came out. Um, anyway, the, I'm going to go work on the witch farm and uh, fix all that stuff up. Uh, the fix I got in my head hopefully should work. And um, if it doesn't, then I'll come up with something. But I, I guess I'll just start working on that. Um, but once, once the server updates to 1.12, then I'm going to start working on the area down there. Now, I know I really absolutely wanted to do that this episode and it was going to look awesome, but... I can't, I don't have enough time, I, I mean not enough time, I don't have enough, uh, I, they, we haven't updated yet, so that's the, that's the problem I'm having. Anyway, I'm really liking the way this came out, and um, if you look in here, I already started clearing out some of the area for it, and I'm just leaving this so it could uh, be there, and it's just going to be like a little glass dome, down and it's going to go downstairs into the area over there, and eventually, if I can, I'm going to go see if I could catch a guardian from a guardian farm or something and uh, make it like a pet fish or something and I know it'll be a hostile mob and but if I name it I believe on this server it should be okay um but I'm not sure I'm not sure about that but I just have plans for this area down here anyway I'm gonna work on this witch farm and uh fix it 
Now I'm just going to show off a little design. Um, I was going to do it in the survival world, but you could see here that it works a little, it would work a little bit better here. Now if we went like this, and uh, that's too many. If we went like this, it resets. Now this is based on a counter too, so um, the hardest part about building this was the thing didn't actually have an output device um, built into it because this uh, automatically goes off. This is al almost always on except at certain times and it's just this whole big ordeal so uh, eventually I just ended up uh, thinking about it and putting it here because then this would be whenever it's empty it would turn on for a second and yeah um, I don't have much time to go put it in the video but I'm going to do this off uh, off video and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it started in uh, I know it's ending in a creative world but this is just the solution I came up with for my witch farm uh, problem I know you guys didn't ever see the problem but I just wanted to show that off Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. If not, please uh, tell me what I could do.